Hello guys, welcome to Pure Solution and today we are here with another amazing tutorial about the SAS. So we will see how we will start the SAS in our existing project or we will how we can embed it into the into existing project. So without wasting time, let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all we have to see some steps that we have to follow and uh, I have some prepared some slides for you and you can view them like the first step is the installation of node.js and the SAS so let's see how we can do that and you have to just go to the node.js and you have to write node.js.org and hit enter you will be on this page so you have to download the recommended version for the node.js because it is the more stable version and you have to download only this one and for for other purpose you can do that but the recommendation is to download this one okay when you get downloaded it there would be some uh, some file to install and once the node.js installed you have to go to your terminal in Mac and in Windows you have to open your command prompt or you have to just check node minus minus V sorry node minus V so it will give you the version of the node.js so this thing tell us that the node.js is already installed on our computer and it will be absolutely on the global because it, it's on the you know it's on the main directory of the windows so after that what you have to do is you have to just uh, uh, after the node.js is done what you have to do is you have to go to your terminal in in mac and again in windows you have to go to your command prompt and you have to just run a command that is on this website that is sas that in lang lang.com so you have to copy this command okay and you have to paste it over here and you can see the command is running and it's it's already installed so there is nothing new in the package and you will get this successful uh, updated one package in this one so it's all done so to check if sas is working we have to do is we have to do this one so minus v or dash dash okay dash dash version so 1.229.0 is working on my computer so this would be the main thing okay we have done with our first step and let's see what is our second step so after this we will command run command line interface and we will see how it, we can compile the SAS into CSS so for the second and third step what you have to do is you have to just go to your directory and you have to create some <coughs> some files over here and I am using the sub sublime text so what you can do is you can create one index.html and some basic html structure is here and I have linked the style css file which is currently empty and sorry so which is currently empty and here is the source file which is also empty so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to write the css in our source file and we will compile into css and that will work and we will see uh, it will be wonderful and type saving actually why, why we are using the SAS we are using the SAS because it, it tackles the browser compatibility issues and uh, uh, as it is a scripting language so we have to follow some rules and regulation of the language so for writing the SAS we will use uh, we will not use the brackets as we use in the CSS rather we will use the tab indentation so we can uh, write the code so like <coughs> I'm going to write a body and then I will enter press enter and press the tab key and I will give the background to the uh, body so 
here is the thing so on the I have also mentioned h1 okay I will also mention h1 over here let's say installing and compiling the sas okay so let's save it and for the h1 we are going to have some css so we will use the font size and all those stuff we will use the font size to 4 rem sorry the semicolon is not allowed in sas so second step is the line height that would be round about 4 rem and the third one is text align center and the fourth one is color so we will save it and let's see how we can compile it we have to go to the navigate to the directory of our uh, project and what we have to do is we have to select all the path in windows and in the term uh, and in the mac you have to open the terminal for and navigate to that folder and you have to just run command so it's on it's on the paths or on the directory where the project is so what I will do is I will write the sas and I will tell the sas to convert the style.sas style.sas to style style.style.css okay when I run it and it will you can see now the file is empty now the CSS is empty when I run it okay when I run it so it say there is some error so it's it's, it's mean it, it is working so well, let me text align so for for now we will remove it and we will save the now again we will run that command and I have pressed the arrow to run the same so this means the CSS the SAS is compiled into CSS and you can see this one okay and let's see the effect on the browser I will open it in the browser and you can see the CSS is working and it compiled the SAS into CSS but there is some problem like if there is p tag like here is also some code for sas okay i will save it and for the sas we have to again go to our sas file and we have to again give the color of the p to for example to something like E C C C some some grayish type okay so now again no semicolon and we have to again give the command and again and again so the best solution for this is to add the watch okay to add the watch to or to compile the SAS into CSS so for what we have to do is we have to tell the command line interface that if you have to watch the style dot sas and you have to convert the sas into css so automatically when we will do some coding over here and we will save it in sas and it will automatically compile into css so let's enter the command and you will see some text over here so sas is watching for the changes so uh, as i did so let's see you have you can see when i hit the control s which means i i am saving the file every time it is compiling and it's outputting the result that the sas is converted into css so this is the very basic tutorial that we have discussed today how to install the SAS and how to use it and we will also use the uh, SAS we, are, we will also see how we can use the SAS tutorial for beginners and we will uh, do some other stuff in, in the coming lectures so 
let's get started and we will have some series of SaaS tutorials so just give, give the big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more updates and for more tech videos for now I will I will leave you with this SaaS installation and just do it and we will be back in the next tutorial so thank you so much bye bye